As Matthew McConaughey once said, All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to Orthodox Review, the most uneducated educational program here on the internet. I am your host, the guy with one and a half thumbs. And this is episode 92. Woo! Closing in on that 100. On that, on that Benjamin of episodes. Uh, this is, well, it's kind of a... A showdown smackdown between two available books uh, that we can get containing the lives of the saints and holy ones of the church. Um, before we get into the video, gotta you, gotta, gotta, first of all, thank you, Mike B., uh, Patreon uh, supporter Mike B., for supplying the show with these fine specimen uh it is greatly appreciated, and thank you to all my patrons on Patreon for continuing to finance this ridiculousness, this, uh, this, this train wreck of a dumpster fire that is Orthodox Review. I am eternally grateful, and I thank God for you, and I pray for you, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty cool that I get to do this, so thank you again. All right, so um, now... Uh, whew, where to begin? Okay, so let's go over some publication, you know, uh, uh, information real quick as we usually do. So, the Synoxarian, which uh, I think more people will be familiar with, particularly because um, of the brevity of the entries, uh, there are a lot of audio uh, outlets that have uh, readings from the Synoxarian. Um, of course, the most prevalent that comes to mind is Patristic Nectar Publications, who, uh, through their website and app, uh, have the entire Synoxarian for the entire year uh, available as audio, and I use it myself every morning. I listen to the Synoxarian, and it's a great way to start the day after my prayers or when I'm getting ready at work, I have it on. Either way, it's fantastic. And so I would imagine a lot of people are very familiar with the Synoxarian by name and content a little bit. Um, now, uh, the Synoxarian, originally compiled by uh, Hieromonk Macarios of Simonos Petra, uh, written in French and translated from the French by Christopher uh, Huque, uh, Holy Convent of the Annunciation, uh, originally 1998, and is constantly updated. Uh, the most recent update was 2013 on, I forget which volume. Uh, and it's produced and published by uh, Sebastian Press, which is, um, I tell you what, uh, in addition to the link for this particular volume, I highly recommend checking out their publications. They are just, just fantastic. Um, <laughs> so, uh, the other, uh, the, the other contender in this battle uh, is the great collection of the lives of the saints. Uh, this is from uh, Chrysostom Press. Uh, a lot of people mistakenly think that it's from uh, uh, Jordanville, but it's not. It's Chrysostom Press. Uh, the original uh, was compiled in 1914 and originally translated um, by Father Thomas uh, Moretta in 1995. This printing, this particular printing is from 2006. Um, and uh, it's still just the first English translation. So let's get into, let's get into this, all right? Okay, so for all intents and purposes, this is Rocor. And this is, uh, wow, brain farting hard this morning. I'm not going to lie, folks. I, uh, I had a couple drinks last night, and uh, and it's severely impaired my reviewing ability. That's terrible. Serbian. <laughs> no, not Serbian. Uh, not Georgian. It's, come on. Come on, Raph. Get it together. Get it together. It'll be in here. I don't know. It's it's got a dedication from Patriarch Bartholomew from '96, but I forget which. It really doesn't matter. 
Let's get into the differences, the similarities, all that stuff. So let's go through the collection of the lives of the saints uh, first. Um, I uh, have some personal experience with uh, this particular collection. Um, to uh, go back to my foray into monasticism at Hermitage of the Holy Cross, uh, being a Rocor monastery, this is the collection that they would read from at Trapeza. So this, for the longest time, was what I was used to hearing. And uh, we're going to go ahead and skip to the beginning here. Now, in the Lives of the Saints, at the beginning of each month, and each volume is a month, so there's 12 volumes. We're going to skip back a couple pages here because there is a homily for the protection of Our Lady, uh, the Theotokos, or, um, at the beginning, and then we get into the Lives of the Saints after that. Now, as you can see, and I'm not even going to start reading this because what um, one of one of the, uh, one of the real points of contention is some people love it, some people hate it because it's kind of long-winded. Um, that being said, it's pretty exhaustive. Uh, so you got Romanus, you know, one, two, three, three and a half pages um, in these lives. In uh, this series, what you will notice is there is quite a bit of dialogue, um, and then, and this is this is a pet peeve of mine. And God help me, I'm, I'm making my cross right now because this is a terrible thing to say. But there's a lot of a lot of times where there's like these exclamations in the book where it's just like, oh, and oh, what joy, or oh, what wonder things like that and I get it like they're they're very pious exclamations I just after hearing them day in and day out and by the way this is we're still on the same life here this is Cyprian Cyprian and Justina that was that was a long one um it it, it kind of it it graded on me because it started to sound disingenuous but that's that's a personal problem of my own so the other uh thing about the collection of the great lives of the saints is that to my knowledge and please please correct me if i'm wrong has never been updated so as far as we know the saints or as far as i know and again correct me if i'm wrong but the saints in the collection of the lives of saints uh, has not been updated since the original 1914 which means we've got over 100 years of saints that need to be slipped into these collections uh, which would greatly expand the books, which I don't see as a bad thing. More saints, please. So, there it is, the great collection of the lives of the saints. Now, conversely, we have the Synoxarian, which is only a nine-volume collection. They, uh, they truncate, uh, see, this one is September and October, whereas this one was just October. So, we're going to jump to October here. Um, and so here we have much more brief lives, uh, which I would say, if, if you don't have a whole lot of time to sit down and read, this is probably going to be the one that you're going to want to go with, simply because everything is so brief. Uh, you have uh, Ananias in two simple paragraphs, uh, St. Romanos eh, a little bit longer, a few paragraphs, but you also have interdispersed in this book uh, some nice graphics, uh, some icons, there's also uh, the, just the simple use of red ink, I think, helps out. Uh, and so this is this is a much more brief, uh, brief uh, set of readings. And it's my, my, my personal uh, go-to on that one. Now, what I will say about uh, the great collection of the lives of the saints is you get a lot more detail about the saints. You, you get a closer look into their life and, you know, if they were a martyr or whatever, you, you get a little more, you get a lot more detail into what their actual struggle was. So they both have their, their strengths and weaknesses. Um, pretty much, uh, I would say, if you're looking for, you know, some deeper reading into their lives, go with, uh, the great collection of the lives of the saints. If you're looking for just daily devotional use, 
Um, the Synox is probably the way to go. But the content is not all there is to a book. Let's go over the construction of each book, shall we? So, let's set the Synaxarian aside for a moment and look at the great collection of the lives of the saints. Now, uh, here we have a cloth-bound board, sewn binding, and I know everyone hates when I do this. Oh, you should never do that to a book. It's a book review channel. I have to do it. Okay. So let's, let's crack that spine a little bit. So, solid. Very good con construction. And like many books like this, uh, these are designed to take a whooping uh, because you're going to be using them year in and year out. Uh, I will say that there is a little a little bit of wear on the cardboard in there, but not, not too terrible. Uh, the one thing I will say, in, and, and I will say this no matter what the publisher is, a lot of the times when you have this cloth-bound board, um, if there is any great... Uh, variance in the humidity and temperature, wherever you're keeping them, they're going to warp. I have so many books from so many different publishers that have warped a little bit. Um, and also, it depends on the quality of the press. So, beware. Um, and I think this is one of those situations where the Synaxarian takes the cake. And this is based completely off of my personal tastes. Is... It is a faux leather. So it's Naga hide, I would imagine. They cull those little Nagas running around in the chair factory and make these covers. So, um, Naga pressed board. Uh, the binding, about the same, but because of the material used for the cover, uh, just a little more ma malleable, but you'll also notice the same... Um, the same pull away in the same part of each book. Uh, but again, uh, the sewn binding, uh, sewn and glued, seems to be pretty solid, but we'll see what happens. Um, as, fo uh, as far as the layout and content of the book, let's just open it up to wherever it opens up to. Um, looking at the two together, the paper stock on the Synaxarian is a little smoother um, and comparatively, uh, the text to the size of the page is, is good. Um, though I find the lives of the saints, uh, to be a, because it's just slightly larger and I'm slightly blind, uh, a much better, uh, easier to read. I do for no other reason than aesthetic purposes, uh, like the size of the Synaxarian. Um, and honestly, I think uh, the use of uh, bold face typeset and red headings and bullets kind of helps break up the monotony of the page and, you know, your eyes won't go blurry quite as quickly. Um, price, 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 price. The collection of the Synoxarian is going to run you a little under $300. Uh, the Great Collection of the Lives of the Saints is going to run you about the same. <clears throat> you, of course, can buy volumes individually. Links will be below. Yes. So, I don't know. We're going to have to put a poll up for this one. I mean, which one, um, after seeing this, do you think uh, wins? Uh, for you personally. I'm not saying, you know, there's, there's got to be a definitive winner, but um, which one would you go with? So, comments below. If there's a way I can tag a poll in there, I'll do that. Maybe I'll make it a post. Who knows? But anyway, so there it is. There's your uh, SmackDown Showdown. Uh, the great collection of the Lives of the Saints, the Synaxarian. Both great, fantastic additions to your uh, personal library uh, for, for your edification. Uh, at any rate, on behalf of Spooky Cat and myself uh, and her mom... Uh, uh, blessed, blessed nativity to, to all of you coming up. And uh, I will continue to pray in what meager way I can. Please pray for me. And don't forget to go to church, say your prayers, and remember God. God bless.